Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Nuts video series on Smart Pointer series and this video is about Unique Pointer in C++. So if you don't know what is Smart Pointer, I would strongly recommend please watch this video first which is coming here in some suggestion and then you come back and watch this one because there I have explained the actual use of Smart Pointers. So it's like a series, first that one, then this one, then another one, okay? So do consider watching that first. Now let's look at these points here. So the first point says that Unique Pointer is a class template. Obviously, it's a class and you create the object of this class. Don't worry, we'll see all these things in this program here. So first, go through these points here. So another point is Unique Pointer is one of the smart pointer provided by C++11 to prevent memory leak. This is very important. We don't want memory leak, that's why we go for the smart pointers. And there are three smart pointers. And depending on the situation, you will use one of them. So the third point is unique pointer wraps a raw pointer in it and deallocates the raw pointer when unique pointer object goes out of scope. So in simple terms, it says that, dude, you create integer pointer P, okay? And you just give me this P, forget about the deallocation part. I'll take care of that, don't worry. And how it will work, we'll see that in this program, okay? So the fourth point is, similar to the actual pointer, we can use this arrow operator and this dereferencing operator on the object of unique pointer because it is overloaded in the unique pointer class. The next point is, when exception comes, then also it will deallocate the memory, hence no memory leak. So actually what happens, there is this uh, scope of your code, start here and end here. Let's suppose you created integer pointer p here and you allocated some memory inside this, let's suppose new and all that stuff, okay? So you have this pointer here and you have written delete here, delete p. And in between here somewhere, let's suppose there is some exception happening. What happens, it will go back from here and it will try to deallocate all the local or stack variables created in between these two brackets. But this integer pointer was created dynamically. I mean, it restores a dynamically allocated memory and this is not a stack variable. So when this exception is coming, it will not allow to hit this one so that you can actually delete this pointer and it will return from here. Okay, exception will go from here itself and it will just see what are the locals available here it will deallocate them and this integer sorry integer pointer p is not local here okay so in that case also these smart pointers help really good because by wrapping your pointer in a smart pointer you actually create a local variable inside these scope okay we'll see that don't worry and the last point is not only object we can create array of objects of unique pointer that's a good thing i mean people may ask like okay what about the array of these pointers, you have that facility here. Don't worry about that. So if you see the program here, it is a very simple program. I have not used any unique pointers here. Can you see any problem in this? I have this foo pointer new is equal to foo 10 is going here. Everything is cool, right? Let me just take the output. We should get this 10 here. So if I'll compile this, execute this, we are getting this 10. So everything is good. Do you see any problem in this? Actually, there is a very big problem in this code and that is we have forgot to write this delete F. And tell me how many people actually managed to find that problem? I don't know, maybe very few. Or actually I asked you that there is some problem or not. So maybe you paid a little more attention so that you, you was able to find it. But that's not the point. The point is we do forget writing this delete f or delete pointer we just maybe wrote this and maybe here we have some thousand lines of code and lastly we just forgot to delete this f and that caused a memory problem i mean memory leak problem so how to get rid of this now if you have watched my introduction video you know that this problem is solved by smart pointers and in this video we'll see unique pointer and other topics we'll see in the new lecture or next lecture. So std uni pointer foo. This is how you, you will do it. It's just uh, maybe p is equal to, oh sorry, is equal to doesn't work here. So new foo and 10. 
and here c out p and get x do you see any difference i mean both are two line here we are creating this pointer and here we are using it and similarly we are creating this pointer and we are using it and in this case we had memory leak and in this case we will not have memory leak so if there is no memory leak this destructor should have been called right and in our case it did not called we get only 10 and after that nothing was printed but let me comment this and let's save and compile this one this time and we will see 10 and that destructor was called see food est so this destructor was called in this time and we have not written this delete correct delete um, something we don't have to write this delete because listen this very carefully this is a magic do you see any pointer here no i'm not creating any pointer here see we were creating pointer here but we are not creating pointer here it is an object on stack it is not object on heap or something no it's not so the rule is when something goes out of scope and there is a local variable or variable was created on stack like this that will get destroyed i mean the destructor will be called for that object so in this case the destructor will be called for this this unique ptr and in that we have written delete this pointer whatever we are sending here so you know that there is some pointer going from here right and that pointer will be deleted in the destructor of this unique pointer and that's how we actually ended up calling this one magically so it's just a wrapper this unique pointer is a wrapper which is wrapping our pointer here and we don't have to worry about deleting this pointer because the destructor of this unique pointer will actually call delete on our pointer here so it will end up calling this guy and this is what the job is now why unique why not shared pointer unique is actually like you don't want to share this pointer with any other guy you just want to keep it yourself so one pointer one ownership it is that behavior and it is very lightweight as compared to shared and weak pointers so this is the only magic you don't have to call delete on pointers you created and this is not the only way i mean this is not the only syntax you can create unique pointer there are others so let me write that and i'll get back to you in just one second so this is the first way to create the unique pointer you directly use this new foo 10 and this will create a dynamically i mean it will call the dynamic memory allocation and return the address and that address we are directly passing into the constructor of this p1 which is unique pointer this is one way and this is another way my make unique this is a function which will take what type of pointers i mean dynamically created pointer you need and if it takes any value pass it here and we should use this make unique function because it is exception safe so if you are creating an object and there is some exception it will handle that but in this case no exception safety okay so i'll say that you should use make unique whenever you can it is safe and this is not the only way you can use another way also like uh, you can create this foo pointer here maybe f is equal to this full thing and you can pass this f here so this is also one of the way but i consider using uh, this here because uh, if you will use this way then what i'm telling you is see you can do something like this also unique sorry unique ptr and foo p maybe six is equal to not equal to it won't work equal to will not work so what i mean to say is single pointer is being pointed by two unique pointers and if you will have it like this you will have the option to assign this f here and here both but let's suppose you are not doing that you are just creating the object i mean the dynamic memory there itself then there is no way that you can point a single pointer in two different unique pointers so you should do it like this this is what my personal advice is still you can point the same pointer with different different unique pointers but then if you are doing that it's your mistake what i mean by that i'll i'll, I'll talk about when i will release i mean do this get and all that okay so these are the way to create the unique pointer and as i said unique pointer have overloaded this arrow operator so that you can actually point whatever is 
the managed object. So this is the managed object which is managed by unique pointer. So unique pointer is managing this dynamically created object or pointer. So you have this arrow operator which will point to this object. So now you can have this get x which is of this foo class. Okay, so this and this is equal, you know, pointers, right? I mean, I don't have to explain this. Why well, I have this line? Because if I want to show you how to access these functions inside this class, which you have wrapped in your unique pointer, you will use this arrow operator or you can go ahead with this. Okay, so that's it. Now, as I said in the beginning that you cannot copy unique pointer. So this will fail. P1 is equal to P2 will fail. So, what is the solution? What if you want to move one to another? So you have to use this std move, which will move the ownership from P1 to P3. Now P3 have what P1 had. Okay. And now P1 is equal to null pointer. After this line, the ownership of this guy has gone to P3 and P1 is actually a null pointer. So these are very important points, how you will access it and how you will move it. Okay, so now let's get back to these operations here. So first operation I would like to explain is get function. So get will actually give you the managed object, which is this object inside P3. So it will give that to you. It's just that it will give the pointer it holds in it. It doesn't do anything after that. Now let's come to this release one. Release will actually release the ownership of this managed object in it and return that managed object to you. So after this particular line, this P3 is null pointer. It is not pointing to anything. Now let's look at this another one, which is reset. Wow, this is cool. Actually in reset, what you can do, you can do these things. You can reset some unique pointer. Like uh, what I mean is now see, I will set this P2, which is holding 20 with this one, which is holding 10. So what will happen? We'll see that. So I'll pass this P4 here and let's print this P2 arrow operator get X. And if I'll save it, compile it, compile successfully. If I'll execute this, see this 10 is coming because of this one. So actually reset is like the managed object will get replaced. What I mean by managed object will get replaced is see this P2 was pointing this guy, right? Now I want it to point to this P4's address. I mean, I'm changing the managed object lying under the hood of this P2. Okay. It's just that you're changing the managed object of this P2. It's just that. And now maybe you will ask that what happened to the previous uh, pointer, what this P2 was holding. Actually that pointer is deleted. Yes, that is deleted. So reset is setting this P2 with new pointer and the previous pointer is deleted. And what is left here? Let me just see that. Okay, swap. Swap is just uh, two unique pointers swapping their pointers. That's it. It's not that hard to understand. And this get deleted. I thought that I'll create a different video for this because using this is little tricky. You have to create your own deleter and pass that and then only you will get that deleter. And I have to explain a little more about this one. So maybe I'll take that a little later. Thanks for watching guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. I'll see you in the next videos guys. Bye bye. Take care.